Hi and welcome to another video for linmob.net. This time again showing an operating system for the PinePhone which is a little bit different. It is as you can see based on PostMarket OS and it's called AV Multiphone. It was released first on June 15th and uh, the image I'm running here is pretty old, it's from July 1st. Uh, but I will not update it because I tried that before and that broke it. Uh, I didn't try it for a long time because I figured, well, uh, that website, you know, it just upset me. It claimed that this device was older than this device, which is just not true. But yeah, uh, those major history gripes aside, by the way, if you want to see some videos with, uh, on those devices, please comment below or hit me up on Twitter at Lindmoblog or in the Fediverse at linmob at uh, fosterdon.org or just shoot me a mail uh, to oldphones at linmob.net so yeah that's the phone and it's starting here and as you can see uh, I used it before so let's just uh, but only briefly and then my phone decided to run out of that I'm filming decided to run out of memory so that video uh, stopped working and now I'm connected to Wi-Fi. Let's just go through the app list first because I think uh, that shows what this system is. It seems to be based around the Mate desktop environment which you may know be which is a continuation of what GNOME 2 was and um, there's Mate calculator, Pluma which is a text editor, uh, take screenshot and Vim, which I installed uh, because I tried to change something, but that didn't work uh, out because I couldn't find an escape key on the software keyboard. Then there are quite a number of graphics applications Darktable, GIMP, Inkscape, Color Paint, LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, Camera. The camera doesn't uh, really. Uh, seem to have a UI but it just takes pictures of whatever it sees immediately and puts them on the desktop so that is a pretty good hack for a little camera without having a viewfinder and stuff at least it works I mean that's something uh, so then uh, internet we've got Firefox X11 VNC and Remina which is an RDP client for remote desktoping Office, LibreOffice and Ocula, full LibreOffice here with even Base and, and Math, which are not that many people use, I guess. Then Calls and Chats, that's the Pusum apl uh, applications you know and love from uh, Fosh, Calls and Chatty. And then um, here we have Kodi, the Media Center, uh, Sound and the MPV Media Player, Kaya, which is uh, the Nautilus the file explorer for uh, the Mate desktop and Mate terminal onboard which is the keyboard um, which can be triggered by this button uh, it's actually quite a nice one um, I would wish that it had a little more hate so that the keys would be higher so easier to type but then uh, with this distribu distribution you will have to get used to pretty small touch targets and uh, I, I would figure it's best used actually if you've got a Bluetooth keyboard uh, which also contains a touchpad or a track point uh, that would make this distribution <laughs> really fun but otherwise um, it's it's quite hard then here preferences and I opened about Mate let's just see which version of the Mate desktop that is 1.24 copyright 2020 so it's pretty new and current and that's nice I guess so um, now let's try to do some stuff let's see if I can receive calls now I'm this may not work because it didn't work in my prior testing and um, the thing is I had issues with receiving phone calls on other distributions as well earlier so um, I think there's something weird with my provider or my sim card or something like that so just because it doesn't work for me and it isn't working because I'm calling myself here as you can see by the red light um, yeah it doesn't mean that it, it wouldn't be working for you so just put that OS on, an, on a spare SD card and try that out if you're interested at all 
um, but calling um, other people can work so let me try here a little uh, double click apparently which is not that handy on the touchscreen tell you that and um, I will just briefly dial my uh, number here a landline um, I'm sorry I'm not showing you that information because I don't want to receive calls and you will see why if that works because that would wake me up pretty badly uh, so please don't call me uh, but that number shows up in the recent calls now so uh, I guess that's working just fine I haven't tried SMS um, but apparently it worked for the guy who made the distribution because uh, we actually get to see some of his SMS so apparently which is not a surprise he's using Swisscom uh, because this distribution is made in Switzerland just like Toblerone or other things I don't know what else do they make in Switzerland besides money um, so let's just run Firefox briefly because that's the web browser we have here and this distribution and it's starting now let's just briefly load my page I really have to write the seventh uh, eight eighth iteration of limpids today I haven't started that and it's already noon oh um, yeah sorry for that but as you can see it works but then scrolling requires you to use the scroll bar because apparently that environmental variable which is um, mods underscore use underscore x input 2 equals 1 is not set here so therefore uh, you don't get nice stuff like pinch to zoom or scrolling without the scroll bar here but that's an oversight I I, I, I want to blame this distribution for it but then again uh, it's the same on Ubuntu so uh, yeah can you really blame them then let's see if videos work um, well, what to watch well this is a short one so slightly good watch Yeah, and it works even with sound. That's pretty great, actually. And better than I expected. Um, so let's close Firefox here. Let's also close Shetty. And see if the Surf browser, assuming this is the Surf browser and not just, uh, no, it's Firefox, okay. I was hoping this could be uh, the Surf browser, which is a really small WebKit-based browser. Um, which should support touchscreen scrolling, which would be quite handy, um, would work now. I mean, I, I can briefly show you, um, let's just, oh God, I think I started something there, but I don't know what. Oh, Darktable, yeah. I don't know Darktable at all, so therefore I'm just gonna close that one. But let's load GIMP, because I'm familiar with that. And it's loading. Let's just hide the keyboard here, one board. And yeah, that's GIMP, as we know and love it. And um, well, I guess you could work with that here. Um, but honestly, are you going to do that? I'm not so sure, but yeah, hello. Just painting with a strange brush. And now it will ask me to save or just discard the changes which I'm doing. Let's also have a brief look at LibreOffice Writer. Um, oh no, let's, let's go for Calc. Because spreadsheets are fun, aren't they? Now we could, well, 
see, put numbers in here, two, three, and then go find that sum button. <laughs> Where is it? And can I touch it? I don't know. Uh, there. Oh, or average is fine too, right? Um, see, it works. So that's LibreOffice Calc, everybody. Looking really ugly here, but uh, yeah, um, I mean, this is not the distribution that really invested in looking great a lot because the fonts, I really don't like this font. I forgot what it's called. It's one of those default, fr maybe Free Sons. And boy, uh, does that look bad, but yeah. Um, exit LibreOffice. Don't save that document. And now we're back on the desktop. Let's just try to turn it again. And yeah. Just briefly launch Cody just for the fun of it. And uh, maybe do this. And it didn't launch yet because, well, double click. Which is kind of hard on the phone. Yes, I think we can do nothing here because we would need data or plugins, but you know, on later iterations of the Pine phone, this may be actually handy to have Cody, have a distribution with Cody, because think about it. Um, well, once USB C works properly, because I still haven't done the fix on this one, but the uh, post market OS uh, things that are going to ship sh shortly are, are going to have it fixed. Um, then you can use uh, connect your Pine phone to a TV when you're somewhere and just watch your movies from Cody. So, and you might just uh, want to take this distribution on a large SD card, put some of your favorite uh, content on there, and then have fun while you're on a trip in a hotel or something. Assuming we can never go back to hotels, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, now I need to figure out how to uh, close Cody, but I think that's surprisingly easy here. And let's exit it. Please exit. Please. Yeah. So that worked just fine. I think in general this is a fairly nice distribution. Um, it is very different. It has all these different applications. You know, it, it doesn't have really much in terms of messaging. You know, I would have hoped for Gajim for um XMPP shed or pigeon for, for tons of, of sheds, those desktop applications are quite nice and I think would integrate just fine with all the other ones here. But uh apparently uh they d the developer didn't choose to do that. And um well I'm I'm really hoping for a new image because um and that's something I'm just gonna briefly show you. Uh when you upgrade it I tried that once and then I had to uh, redo this with a different image and now yeah, see that there are issues that happen over time and that is stuff gets a little bit balked um, but now that we wait waited waited a little um, see what seems to be working on <laughs> another instance of that over there but yeah let's just ignore that it's fine I'm sure it's fine and update the repos here and type the password which again one two three four and okay doesn't tell you how many upgrades there are but we will uh, find that out rather soon by typing apk upgrade by the way, if you want to install a package, you'll type apk add, and if you remove a package, it's apk del. So while update and upgrade is similar to apt, uh, these parts of the Alpine uh, package manager are different, and 310 upgrades. Wow. That's a lot, and unfortunately, when I tried this before, it broke for me afterwards. So I'm just going to end the video here and maybe write 
something into the show notes if it didn't break this time but i'm really guessing it's gonna break and that is unfortunate because the screen rotation thing then uh, didn't really work afterwards uh, it would make it so that you would have to tap here to hit the a button and stuff you know stuff wouldn't switch uh, accordingly and yeah that's something that can happen but overall this is an interest interesting distribution it's very different and maybe it's something for you just give it a try link is below in the video notes and so video description i think it is <laughs> right so have a great time um enjoy your weekend or what's left of it and um have a great next week and stay healthy. Bye-bye.